In this video, we will dive into the EI Tech Covi Green Strategy, a frac trade based algorithm that employs various indicators and parameters for generating buy and sell signals. Hi there, and welcome to another video where I try to find the best trading strategy for crypto. For a trading bot or for manual trading, by the way. Now, before I discuss the strategy code and show its results, I want to do a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Tang Tang, that pointed me out to this algorithm. You can download the algo from here or search on GitHub for it. In the code, there are two mentions of the original authors here, uh, Rally Panos and some changes were made by Ichi At. I hope I spelled your name correctly. So all the kudos go to these developers. I'm just a guy who attests these algos on its merits and show you the results in this video. Now the strategy itself is designed to work on a five minute time frame and also uses higher time frames to form a more higher level view of the market. But let me break this code down into sections and discuss every important part on a higher level here for more insights. Let's start with the top section first. Here we see the ROI. And the ROI table is time-based and it looks to be programmed so that the longer the trade stays open, the smaller the profit. And this piece of the strategy's code are its buy and sell parameters, where the strategy is able to make use of the hyperparameter optimization if you use this option in the commands line. Now, for the people that first hear of this, in FragTrade, hyperoptimization allows traders to automatically search for the most effective parameter values by backtesting thousands of combinations. However, it also introduces a bias called curve fitting, so you should be aware that using optimization techniques like this on past data will not guarantee future success. Now, this section defines a set of protection mechanisms aimed at reducing risks and avoiding unprofitable trades. It includes safeguards like cooldown period after trades, maximum drawdown limits to hold trading if losses exceed 20%, and various forms of stop loss guards and profit checks and these prevent trading when certain conditions, like low profits or excessive drawdowns, are met. So, to explain this in short, these protections help mitigate potential losses during volatile or unfavorable market conditions. So let's hope we never need these. Now, the stop loss has been set to minus 99, which effectively disables the stop loss. And from this point on, I assume that there will be other triggers in the code that provide the exit signals that replaces the stop loss. However, if the developers tried to lean on the trading stop loss here, then they have to be aware that enabling this while doing backtests can also skew the output results to a more positive bias than originally is the case. In this section of the strategy, several parameters are defined that control the behavior of the algorithm, many of which are optimized to find the most effective values. Now overall, these parameters illustrate the complexity and flexibility of the strategy, with the ability to fine-tune almost every aspect of trade execution through optimization. Now this allows the bot to adapt to different market conditions and enhance performance, but still you have to be aware that you introduce curve fitting if you use this optimization technique. In this mock configuration section, there is said that the bot may use only the first 400 candles, but only trade after them. Now this is set so that some indicators can process all this information to create the actual indicator output, and in this case, it is a 400 candles of each five minutes. So the bot will start a really working around the one and a half days after the start. The pump dump protection function here is designed to detect sudden abnormal spikes in trading volume, which are often signs of pumps and dumps. How it works is it compares short term and long term volume averages to identify unusual volume increases. And this function also calculates the percentage change in volume over different time frames and triggers a warning when the short-term volume exceeds the long-term volume by more than five times. This helps the bot to avoid entering trades during potential manipulated market conditions. The functions here calculate Bitcoin-specific indicators. Base TF-BTC indicators tracks Bitcoin's long-term price trend, while Info TF-BTC indicators computes the eight-period RSI for momentum. And both functions rename columns with a btc underscore prefix to easily identify it in the data. In this section, the indicators are defined on which the trading algorithm is based. Now, these indicators will be added to the data frame and then be used in the buy and sell signals later. Now, I will not go over this line by line and it's pretty self-explanatory too here. So let's continue with the buy and sell signals. The populate buy trend function defines the logic for generating buy signals. 
and it checks multiple conditions for buying, including whether the price is below a certain moving average, uh, RSI levels, or the EWO value. And it adds uh, also signal tags to the buy conditions, like Lambo 2, Buy 1 EVO, Buy 2 EVO, and a Kofi, depending on which conditions are met. An interesting thing here is added at the end. Uh, this negates buying opportunities during pump and dump warnings or when Bitcoin's RSI is too low, preventing risky trades. So when these conditions are met, then before this function is finished, the buy signal 1 has been set to zero again, which uh, actually prevents the actual buy. And I think this is a pretty neat and clever trick that I cannot remember seeing earlier. Here the sell settings have a similar pattern as the buy signals. Multiple conditions are set to generate a sell trigger, so hopefully this will do the job of exiting without or with a minimal loss. Also because of the disabled stop loss setting earlier. Now to finish this walkthrough, there is also a DCA class that is derived from the original EI3 class above, but I will not test this in this video. And you are always welcome to do this yourself, and if you want to add your findings to the comment section below, then it will be great. I want to start as quickly as possible with the backtests to see how this algo performs. So uh, in the meantime, if you subscribe to this channel quickly, click the like button of this video and add a few random letters to the comment sections, like for example GRT or THX or even URGOAT, then I can present you with the findings. So after backtesting this strategy, I got the following results back from the engine. And by the way, I also tested this algo on possible look ahead bias but the included command in Fractrate for finding this future snooping did not find any. And I must say, this strategy performs pretty well. The 5 minute time frame shows the most profitable results with a really optimistic 5,935% profit and a high win rate of 95%. Despite the strong performance, the maximum drawdown of 74.84 is noticeable and also indicates that the strategy can experience significant losses during unfavorable conditions. The Kelma ratio of 6.10 and the Sharp ratio of 4.87 suggests a good balance between risk and return over the period, although risk management may need refinement given the drawdown. The given that 65% of my used pairs has a favorable response rate might suggest that other pairs can get good results with this algorithm too. Here in the equity curve it shows that wins steadily increase over time, especially from mid-2020 to 2021, and this reflects a consistent success rate. However, after the 2021 bull market, uh, the wins continue to grow, but the profit curves begin to falter. And this gives me the impression that divergence between growing wins and falling profits post bull market might suggest that the profitability of trades decreases. The drawdown analysis shows significant peaks exceeding 40% in both 2020 and 2021, particularly during volatile market periods. After the 2021 bull market, drawdowns increase in frequency and severity, and this indicates that the strategy struggles in less favorable conditions. And also the high average drawdown of 20% in this plot range suggests the need for better risk management in my opinion. Here are the box plots of the win rate and the profit distribution. Now the left box plot, uh, the win rate here, is tightly clustered around 95% and this indicates consistent success in trades. But outliers below uh, 80% suggest also occasional weeks of poor performance, but these are rare. Now the profit distribution here shows more variability with a medium profit around zero and outliers extending to both large gains and significant losses. And this highlights that while the strategy wins often, the magnitude of profits and losses can vary greatly, with some weeks experiencing substantial losses despite the high win rate. So in other words, even when the strategy has a strong win rate, profit outcomes are highly variable, reflecting the risk of occasional large losses despite those frequent successful trades. In this total overview, this tag of the green strategy leads in win percentage compared to the other strategies, and this is quite good. However, it also has the highest drawdown, which reflects a significant risk exposure, and in addition to this, it also falls short on the profit factor. So, this suggests, uh, I think, that it wins frequently, but the size of its profit might not be consistent and outweigh a significant occasional losses. But nonetheless, these results are still some to be proud of. And here in this chart, there are no strategies anymore that are flatliners in comparison with the best scoring algorithms. And summing up the totals with these backtest results, this strategy ends up somewhere in the top 20 of best performing algorithms on the backtests. 
Now remember that the trading idea and backtest results only show one half of the complete picture. The next thing you should do if you are interested in exploring this algo further is to try to find out why it has a bad performance under bearish market circumstances. But most of all, a decent forward test under live market circumstances gives you the best information on the actual performance of a trading algo. Now, for more information on that, you can always see my previous video where I test some of the best algorithms so far, and these tests will show you some hard but honest and sobering evidence on the real performance of some of the best strategies. For now this is it. All the output of this test, the strategy itself, the complete setup with files and all other stuff I present on YouTube is all available on my Patreon site for supporters. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.